Which tarot deck is the best? We're going to look at the Wild Unknown versus the Apparition tarot deck. Um, now, the Wild Unknown uh, by Kim Kranz. We're going to talk about the author, artist, publisher, and design when we look at these cards. And let me grab them really quick. I know that... Um, the Wild Unknown Tarot actually comes inside of a larger box, which I did not photograph here. But we're going to start with the other one. And I found this one um, through social media and then purchased it off of Etsy. And I just absolutely fell in love with the artwork. Um, there's a tarot reader on YouTube who uses this deck a lot and um, you know I was really pleasantly surprised when it arrived because it's wonderful paper it has this beautiful gold edge on the side it's just really well made it's um, kind of like a, a semi satin so it's not reflective but it's not totally matte and I just I, I love the artwork it's a graphic and it references the traditional tarot, but it's unique. And I just had to have it. Um, yep, <laughs> there's a detail. And the, um, let's see here. So, um, like I said, I found it on Etsy. The guidebook uh, doesn't have kind of like a traditional entry with information about the author and the artist. So I'll have to look that up and then put that in the information down below. It isn't written in the guidebook. The guidebook here, you get um, a black and white version of the card and then a short divination meaning with it as well. All right, then I paired this with um, Kim's tarot uh, because it is also a really beautiful um, selection of materials and very different. It has more of an earthy feel to it. A lot of her cards feature animals, so that makes sense. And uh, this black and white um, sort of static-like uh, drawing that is in all of her work within these rainbow accents is really beautiful. The cards are thin um, and feel more environmentally friendly, let's say. Um, and that is reflected in the choice of the animals. She also has uh, oracle decks and uh, they feature animals as well. Well, on a, as a side note, she and I went to the same graduate program, not at the same time, um, but uh, there's uh, in both of our work, there is, you know, as many artists have been influenced by archetypal imagery and the work of Joseph Campbell and Carl Jung and all of those wonderful thought leaders. So um, her book which you can see it's a little bigger, so the, the larger package encompasses both the booklet and the cards. Um, you get a black and white image of the card and then a nice description, which you can see how the text that she used carries through this kind of like handmade and natural feel. So both of these decks have this handmade um, natural feel that's very artistic and wonderful. I love them both. I think they pair wonderfully together. Would you choose one or the other? And if so, why? Um, certainly the Apparition deck is going to be a little bit harder to find because Kim Kranz is widely produced and widely available. You can find her work on Amazon and lots of different stores. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, the video. And thanks for watching.